Hi everyone, this is Miss Amy here to do a another fun art project. Today we're going to be creating this turkey in a pointillism style of art. So let's go over the list of supplies you need to create this project. First of all, a piece of watercolor paper or you could use mixed media paper also. You will need a pencil and an eraser your watercolor paints. I have my big set here, but you could use any set that you have. A paintbrush, a paper towel, a cup of water, and a handful of Q-tips. So let's go ahead and get started on this project. So first of all, we want to sketch our turkey real lightly on our paper so that um, then we can fill it with our paint. So um, this example that you see, I drew it so big that I didn't have room to put the feet at the, the legs at the bottom. So I have my turkey sitting down and the feathers go off the page. Now I think that looks really cool that way. Um, but let's draw it a little bit different today. We're going to draw it a little bit smaller so that we can include the legs and uh, maybe some more of the feathers. So we're gonna start, first of all, kind of in the middle of our paper. And I'm just gonna make a big kind of a circle shape right here. That's gonna be kind of the body of my turkey. All right, so then I'm gonna have my legs. Uh, I'll have room for my legs here on the bottom. So it's just kind of an angled line with a parallel angled line. And then my feet, they have some, probably three claws in the front and kind of one behind, um, which um, you can include that one or you can just make it more look so it's a shorter, so it makes it look like it's behind the turkey a bit. So we'll just draw three, they're kind of like triangle shapes for the claw and I'm gonna make a short one back here so it looks like it's behind, going more behind. And then I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. Draw this, angle it slightly the other way and do the claws, kind of a triangle shape, long skinny triangle. Doesn't have to be a perfect triangle because their feet are probably a little bit bumpy so there we go, this fun turkey. And I'm going to kind of shape that just a little bit more. And we'll fix it later too as we go, go on. Now make sure that when you're drawing that you're using a light pressure on your pencil. And that way it's way easier to erase if you need to erase a line. All right, so now the neck of the turkey. So from this is the top of our circle. We're going to come down just a little bit. And I'm just going to make a U shape right there. And that's where the neck of my turkey is going to come out. So I'm going to make two lines coming up here and then I'm going to make a round shape here on the top. Erase everything in between inside there. And then um, their beak is going to be about right here. I have my turkey turning his head slightly. If you want to make it looking straight, you would just put your beak right here in the middle and it's just a triangle shape. And then you can include a couple little curve lines to create the eyes there. And then often turkeys have, especially males, they'll have this piece of skin over their beak. That's called the snood. So I'm gonna draw one cause I'm gonna have a big male turkey here. So I'm gonna make that cause I just think it looks kind of cool hanging down over the beak, just like that. All right. And then they have some kind of warty looking skin around their neck. Um, that is called the waddle. It's kind of loose and hanging around their neck. So I just made some bumpy lines going around the bottom there uh, to kind of represent that. All right, so on the body then, we're going to make the tail on the back of the, behind the turkey here. So I'm going to go ahead, let's start on this side. I'm just going to make a line going up that way. 
in a line going up and his tail is so big it kind of goes off my paper. So I'm going to make some straight lines all the way, like make a little bit of space and then draw a straight line up, a little bit of space. And then this one you can't see because it's behind the head. So see, I can imagine drawing the line and then draw it above there. And then this one here, here, and there. There we go. So these ones behind here, make them a little taller. Make them... Okay, so on these, they're kind of rounded at the ends. So I'm just make a curve line at the top of these and try to get them close to the same size a little bit. I'm adjust those just a little bit. That's why we're writing real light with our pencil so we can adjust our lines. Okay, so I'm gonna adjust this one too here. And I'm gonna adjust this one. There we go. All right. And then um, they often have this little set of feathers that goes right above there. So I'm just going to draw a line that goes up just like that. And I can kind of erase everything inside there because this is those are different feathers. So just a curved line follows kind of the shape of the turkey there just like that all right and then there's also a little band of color that is usually on the top of the feathers so I just draw a line that's where it's going to show me where to add some paint there clean up my lines a little bit here all right and then we're going to draw the wings of our turkey so what we're going to do is start here and the kind of they come down and go around just a bit. They're laying at a side. So I just draw a curve line down off the side of this body and then a curve line up to the back. And then I can erase this line there. And then I'm going to do the same thing on this side, curve my line down off the side and then a curve line back up to the back there and then just erase that side of that circle there. And that kind of represents the wings of my turkey. So there we go. I have them standing up now. I really like that turkey. So that's all we need with our pencil and our eraser. So we're gonna go ahead and get started now. Um, the only thing our paintbrush is for is to add a little bit of water into the paints that we're gonna start with. And I like to start at the head and then work around from there. Now this takes this process takes a little bit of time. So I'm going to get you started and show you how to do it and then you can finish it on your own because it will take a long time for this video if I walk you through the whole entire process. But once you get started you can it's pretty simple to finish on your own. So we're going to start though with this head. Turkeys kind of have a blue colored head. So I'm going to put a little bit of water in my blue. I'm almost out of blue on this paint. So I actually get another set of paints here that has some blue and drop some water in there. And then I'm going to drop some water in my red, which is right here. And you want to just use clean your brush and drop that water. You want quite a bit of water in there because you're not going to paint with our paintbrush today. We're actually going to paint with our Q-tips. So with the water in our paint, um, I'm going to just dip my end of my Q-tip in there. So I have a little paint on there and I'm just going to tap it on my paper. Now each, um, this is how I'm going to paint it in just with little dots. And I'm making these dots with my Q-tip. If you want a tiny dot, I just use a little bit of the edge of my Q-tip. If I want a big dot, I use the end of my Q-tip and push down a little harder. And we're going to go ahead and fill his little snoot in here, blue. And around his eyes, some blue. 
And I'm doing it pretty quickly. You can work a little faster if you need to. Um, we're going to come down and then it kind of changes into red. This is how I'm going to do my turkey today anyway. So um, if we want to add a little bit of darker, what we can do is get a little more paint on our Q-tip and less water. So see where my paint is wet but there's not as much water, that's where I'm picking up a little bit more blue. And I'm just gonna put it underneath, kind of that snood there, where it would be a little bit darker, maybe a little bit darker under his eyes, kind of adding a value there. Just makes him look a little more real. You don't have to do that. I like to do that because I love to do realistic, more realistic type art. But um, if you don't wanna do that, you don't have to. And then I'm going to clean that up just a bit. That's my clean. There we go. <clears throat> so, um, and then on his wings, I did add a little bit of blue on his wings. I try to do one color at a time and then before I move to the next color. So I'm just going to add some blue. When, when you're looking at a turkey, sometimes the sun reflecting off their feathers gives a real different colors on there. I've seen some greenish colors on turkeys. You could use green. I'm just using blue. I already have blue for that and I like blue a lot. But if you want to add some green into the wings, you could do that too. So I'm just going to add some blue and I'm trying to make my dots overlap the other dots. So I just have a tiny bit of white showing through is okay, but I'm trying to fill it in because I, I want to tell that they're dots without um, totally filling in all my paper. So it's okay to have a little bit of white showing through. All right. Go down just a little bit more on that. All right. So I'm going to set my Q-tip aside because I'm not going to use the blue anymore on that. And now I want to do red. So I've got some water in there. So I'm going to tap my Q-tip in the water that's in my red paint. And I'm going to start adding it on to the, this part of the neck. And this loose skin on the neck is actually called the waddle. And I had to look up what it was for. I'm not a turkey expert and it seems that it helps keep the turkey cool in hot weather. Turkeys don't sweat like we do and so it helps keep them a little bit cooler. And I think also the males use it to show off to their girlfriends, the females. So that's fun too. All right. I guess in the turkey world, it's pretty attractive to have a bright red waddle. All right, so I've added some red in and now I'm gonna add a little bit of red on the wings, just next to the blue, just a little bit. And they could overlap a little bit too. I like to overlap my dots. And so, um, we want to just do that, kind of overlap a little bit. A little bit more here. And then when your paint is kind of drying out and it's hard, your Q-tip isn't picking up very much paint, you can add a bit more water with your paintbrush into the paint. There we go. Add some red, beautiful turkey wings here. Plus this, add, this breaks up all the brown that we're going to put on our turkey having a little bit of color on there. There we go. It's a little bit of red showing there. All right, so I still have a clean part of this side of my Q-tip, so I'm gonna go ahead and put some in my, I have this yellow orange color. If you just have some orange, that's fine too. That'll work too. You could just use some orange um, for the beak. So I'm gonna go ahead and just use my Q-tip here a little bit in a little bit of orange to fill in that beak there and then I'm going to grab another q-tip so I'm going to make some black eyes so I'm going to put some water in my black and then I'm also going to put water in my brown because we're going to use a lot of brown and black on this turkey brown feathers so 
I'm going to go ahead and get some black on the end of my Q-tip. Got some black there, and so I'm going to carefully fill in the eyes just a bit. There we go. All right. And then what I like to do is get some of that black off so it's a little lighter. And I just add a little bit of shadow behind the neck. Just a tiny bit of black there for shadow. Now you don't have to do this if it's a little too hard because it can be a little harder to if you're not used to adding values into your art. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do that right here too. All right. So then I'm going to go ahead. Um, let's, I'm going to show you how to do the um, wings. We're going to do the wings brown. So I'm going to go ahead and get some brown on here. And... I'm going to go ahead and overlap into my red just a little bit. Show you how to feel that. See how I'm, I'm tapping pretty quickly. But when I get close up to the edge, I go a little bit slower so that I don't go too much over my edge. Kind of hides my pencil lines, though. So I don't really want to see those a whole lot. I'm going to overlap into my red just a little bit. Maybe fill up a little more white. I just want a tiny bit of white showing, not a whole lot. Okay, so my brown is out of water. So I'm going to take my paintbrush and put some more water in there. Okay, and then I'm going to do the other wing. I'm going to show you, get you started on some of the other parts and then... Um, we will finish up for the video for today and you'll be able to finish this on your own. So basically I use brown on the wings here, but I don't use brown here because I don't want all of that brown. So I want to, you know, I'm running out of water. My brown is really soaking that up. Okay, so I'm gonna get some more brown on here, finish up this wing. Um, the legs, you could do black. The feet, you could do black. I mean, if you wanted to do them orange, you could, but I think they're a little bit darker than the beak. So you could do definitely do black on that. Okay. So basically with the wing, with the feathers, I use brown. And then I use black for that, for the band across the feathers and behind the head. And what you do, what happens is because I have that nice dark black here, it makes the head really pop out. And that value of that black kind of makes this head look like it's in front of that but closer to you anyway. And so that goes, does really well, matches really nicely. So because I have all this brown on the feathers up here and here, I'm, what I'm going to do with the body part is use black, but I'm going to put quite a bit of water and actually put a little bit in the cover of my paint here and add some more water to it because I want more of a gray color rather than a pure black. So I want to water my black down a little bit and use that instead of out of directly on my black paint. So I'm going to use this more gray color. See how it's lighter? There's more water added and less paint. So it actually looks gray. So that's how I'm going to do that. Uh, body part is more a gray color and then I can add value by using a little bit more paint black paint and adding making it a little darker so you see around the neck where it's a little darker that's adding a little bit of value there but I think this looks really cool so I just fill in the body kind of fun to do it this way. I've found that I really enjoy this kind of relaxing, just making dots on everywhere on the turkey. And then when you get done, it looks really cool. I think it does anyway. All right. So I'm going to get this gray in here and then I'm going to show you how to add a little bit of black for a little bit of value to kind of show a little bit of shadow. And then um, I'll let you go ahead and finish your turkey. 
so there I've got my gray all in and I have already have a little bit of more black under the wattle here so that kind of shows a little bit of value um, and then the wings a little bit here where the head is creating a shadow so under the wings you have a little bit of shadow so what I'm going to do instead of using this paint that I mixed I'm going to go ahead and dip it in my wet black there and you'll see how much darker it is see how much darker it is and creating a little bit of value there um, if it's too dark if you think it's too dark you can always go in with another q-tip a clean one and you can kind of soak up some of that color that's a way to lighten it up too if you think you've gotten it too dark you can do that easily like i could do that over here too Maybe I want it really dark right under my wing and then lighten it up a little. I just soak up some of that by making dots with a clean Q-tip. All right, so then I'm going to use the edge of my Q-tip a little bit because I want my dots to be a little bit smaller. So I'm going to just use the edge here. And you can see a little bit of shadow here. The wings are kind of creating that shadow on the belly here and then underneath too. Okay, there we go. And then the legs can be a little bit darker. So I'm going to make those a little bit darker. And also putting my dots closer together to fill it all in. Very cool. You can add grass. I'm, on my example, I used uh, darker, different shades of green, but you could use yellow and green together or blue and green, however you want to do, create your grass. All right, so let me show you um, on the original one here. So as you can see with my darker dots, I added a shadow and then I just took and colored this in with black dots behind the head. And then the brown, if you see, I have different, it's lighter and darker in areas. So this happens when you're dipping it in your paint. You might get more paint in, in some areas and less paint in other areas, and that's why. But I think it looks really cool that way because it kind of makes it look like the sun is shining on the feathers and you have those light areas that are shining and st standing out. Um, and then I just added some green and some yellow green underneath my turkey for grass. And you can go ahead and, and then you could add some little bit of black over that as the turkey shadow um, but definitely you could finish this on your own it's already looking awesome I love how this is turning out I like the turkey standing up too that's pretty cool so go ahead and finish your turkeys and um, please feel free to send me a picture I would love to see your pointillism turkey all right. Thank you for joining me today for this fun project. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.